Have you heard of someone living dependent on an IV line? Will this autonomia become more popular in the future when it is properly recognized and treated? My peripherally inserted central catheter, PIC, IV line, pumps in sugar water at 65 cc's an hour. I've been down to 50 cc's an hour and up to 100 cc's an hour based on the color of my face, i.e. pink versus white, respectively. Hum drop, drip drop. All 24-7. My pick lines need changing from the left arm to the right arm or vice versa every three months for almost a couple of years now. Every time we put the pick line in the left arm, it left a scar and undoubtedly some residual wound to the vein itself. Then we go to the right arm and the pick line needs changing again, usually due to infection, humdrum, drip drop. Eventually, if you look at the length of veins in each arm, one can imagine that I will run out of veins. Then, I may have to resort to having a pick line tunneled into the internal jugular vein in the neck. Humdrum. Drip drop. As an intensivist especially, I do not relish the thought of someone poking a needle near my neck. In the internal jugular, IJ, vein, tundra, drip drop, even though I have placed many central lines in many patients' necks. Until the right IJ one runs out, and then maybe the doctors and nurses can then save my left neck vein for last. Statistically, and increasing with time going by, one can see that one day, there will be no veins left. Hopefully by then my child will be grown and the Lord can take me back to heaven where I will be waiting for my husband. Humdrum, drip drop. One day I will be ready to go back and stay with my Jesus. For now, he has allowed me to stay on earth to show you some harsh realities and for me to face some harsh realities of my own. Humdrum, trip drop. You need to read this. You need to feel it. If you forget, you need to read this over and over. Come drop, drip drop. God loves you and is waiting for you to come to his son Jesus. God granted me the ability to return to earth and be a messenger to you. He not only wants you to be in the crowd of individuals that believe in him, he wants you to live your life for him. Come drum, drip drop drops of life. When we accept Christ into our hearts as our personal Savior, we die to ourselves and become alive to Christ. It does not stop there. Sorry, I didn't make the rules. No one goes to the Father except through the Son. If you know the Bible and if you know Jesus' words to us, you too will go there. Try to live your life as if you went to heaven and then came back to earth, just as I believe I did. What would you do differently? Humdrum, drip drop. And you need to stop and change your IV bag to another liter and change the battery while you are at it. Humdrum, drip drop. Your priorities would change, especially how much you cherish your children and your spouse, as well as your parents. Maybe you would quit that job that tears you away from your family and your own self. Humdrum, drip drop. 
Maybe sell your house and move into a smaller one. Or one that is in a different area. Simplify. It only takes once to die. As Mother Renee always says. Hum drop, drip drop. Once we have died to ourselves and become alive for Christ, we must seek his face and listen for that still, small voice of the Holy Spirit that he left us with. Christ did not want to leave us alone, so he sent us the Holy Spirit. He has a plan for your life. It is laid out before you, and you do not even know where it will lead you. Humdrum, drip drop. One last thing before I forget to write this somewhere in this book. When I was before God, I do not think that he viewed me as a Baptist or a Catholic or any denominational or non-denominational affiliate. He viewed me as a Christian. It did not matter which church I attended or if I attended church and did home Bible study instead. Humdrum, drip drop. As long as I did my best to live for Christ and maneuver through life, helping others to know Christ and His endless mercy and healing qualities.